Also, a judge has signed a temporary order, restraining order, halting evictions at the West Side Inn in Kingsport for at least five days. Today was the original deadline for the residents to vacate the inn, but lawyers for the residents are asking a judge to extend that deadline to April the 19th, arguing that they qualify as tenants rather than hotel guests. Evictions are paused until a judge rules on that request next week. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson has been following this story. So Catherine, how do residents feel about this legal action? Sarah Ansley, residents I spoke with said they were relieved to receive a copy of this temporary restraining order this morning, but they're still facing an uphill battle finding another place that they can afford. It makes me feel better. It, it does feel really good uh, to have the option. U-Haul trucks and boxes appearing in the parking lot of West Side Inn because despite the temporary relief, the West Siders are still working to find a new place to live. Michelle Greenway has lived at West Side for six years. She says her health needs and limited income make the challenge all the more overwhelming. It's all uh, hit me uh, like a time bomb. At once, I'm mean, I'm nothing about it. I don't have nobody to help me pack. I don't have nowhere to go. I don't have no money. Lawyers for the residents filed a request to extend the eviction date just yesterday, arguing those living at the hotel qualified as tenants, receiving mail, and often listing the West Stone Drive property as their permanent address. Typically, a motel offers very few protections for their guests. They can be evicted and forced out at very short notice, um, just a few days is sufficient, which is very different from a tenant where the landlord has to go to court, um, go through the proper process. Not everyone I spoke with is a longtime resident. Curtis Davis has been looking for an apartment since December and settled at Westside about a week ago, only to learn he'd have to leave. I, I was just beside myself. This is the last place in Kingsport I wanted to, to have to be, but I do believe it's where I need to be because these residents need a lot of help. Davis told me he's working to start a local chapter of renters rights group Tennessee for Safe Homes and address the underlying of affordable housing crisis in the Tri-Cities. We only have temporary solutions, so in the coming months, uh, everybody's going to have to work together, I think. For now, evictions are only paused for five days. A judge is going to rule next week on the tenant's request to extend that eviction date to April 19th. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you. Catherine, thanks, and the organizations continue helping residents in this situation. The United Way of Greater Kingsport has released a statement saying, quote, contact has been attempted with every resident with nine guests moving into permanent housing and many individuals beginning the process of relocating. The organization adds that United Way of Greater Kingsport and the Kingsport Homeless Coalition continue to work diligently to develop the best solutions for the individuals and families being displaced. Placed.